now grant you three wishes. Woo-wee! But I reserve the right to change modifier determine the nature, content, and quality of said wishes. Your sign here, initial here, stamp here, fill in the blank, carry the two, 6.7 APR. I'll sign whatever you want. Whoa! And now my first wish is for some water to get me and my baby back on the road. Then I'll think about what else I want, Genie. <laughs> Hmm, this simple glass of water is not good enough for my master's car. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> hmm, what I am thinking is my master's water should be fresh. It should be the freshest water in the world. From a Swedish fjord. <laughs> Maybe we... You're the worst genie I've ever met. I wish I was the genie. I'd show you how it was done. Oh man, I wasted my wish. But hey, this place has everything I could have wished for. And you know, some guys can't pull off the hair and pants look. <laughs> Okie dokie, Woodpecker. Fine. Now I get three wishes, yeah? Sounds like a lot of work to me, buddy. Get lost. Give me that. My wishes. I read the lamp. I want my wishes. It's all about you, isn't it? All right. I'll give you anything your heart desires. <laughs> I wish to be a new me. You mean a makeover? Yeah. I want a new head of hair, a washboard stomach, and, and I want to be reigning king of Sweden. Your wish is my command. A new head of hair. <laughs> a washboard stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're the reigning king of Sweden. <laughs> I get you. Genie Woodpecker! Ah! Hmm. How will I ever find my magic lamp? Eureka! I wish for, hmm, a three-story house. Oh, joy, my own three-story house. A dream come true. Yeah, and I'll give you a personal tour. This is the first story, Goldilocks. Check out these comfortable chairs. No, 
Too stuffy. <laughs> no, too conformy. <laughs> what do you know? Just right. How about some porridge? No, too hot. Too cold. Having fun yet? Yeah! Liar! Now listen up, Pinocchio. The only thing for little wooden boys to worry about in the real world is woodpeckers. Oh, no. Ah, now back to some relax. Hey, where'd my mansion in a lamp go? Oh, Woodpecker. Hey, give me that. I believe it's time for my third wish. And I wish to be the Yeeny again. Now I get a wish, see? And I wish I was the Yeeny again. No, I want to be the Yeeny. No, I... The no, I'm the Yeeny. No, me. Me, 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 Easy, what's up with that? Stole a fortune from Tut and hid it in his own booby trap tomb, which has been lost for centuries. It's said to hold a laughing curse that will reduce anyone who tries to take the treasure into a giggling fool. <laughs> Egypt is so fascinating. Oh, if I were an archaeologist, I'll bet I could find that lost tomb and become world famous. Oh, my last quarter. Yeah, yeah. I found the hieroglyphic stone that will point the way to the hidden tomb and all its treasure. Now, when is the expert coming to help me with the translation? <laughs> what are you doing? What kind of expert are you? I've spent five long years of painful digging here. Five years? No wonder. Look at the tools you've been using. And look, how do you expect to pick up all this sand? <laughs> You've got this vacuum on reverse. Vacuums are for cleaning. How did you find it so quickly? Oh, I just knew where to dig. Ooh, look, Professor. Is he the court jester? Yeah, Izzy. I asked you first, who is he? No, Izzy. That's what I'm asking you. Is he the court jester? He's the court jester, Izzy. Yeah, is he? What's up with that? Exactly! Izzy, what's up with that? Yeepers. Mm, I don't have time for this. I must explore the tomb. Ooh, exploration of a tomb. This is my expedition. I lead the way, and what I find is all mine. Okay? Okay. Professor, be careful! It's common knowledge that pyramids are booby-trapped. And don't forget about the laughing curse! <laughs> booby traps. Curses. <laughs> a bunch of tourist trash. Professor? Professor? Professor, is everything all right? 
Oh, how exciting! A chance to decipher real hieroglyphics. Hmm, from ancient times on, every picture has told a story. Yeah, like where the treasure is. A court jester would know all kinds of jokes. Let's see. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> Wow, that really is the oldest joke in the world. <laughs> hmm, she's the expert. The treasure must be that way. Or maybe the treasure is this way. <laughs> Maybe it goes up. Enough with the nibble nibble. Mayday, mayday. My expedition has been cursed by Haveco. Send help now. Hmm. No. Wait a minute. Push for treasure. It must be in there. and I found all this. First day? No, no. This is my life's work. My archaeological goal. The treasure of Easy What's Up With That is mine. <laughs> Pies in the face, punchy punchy gloves, piranhas, suction darts, and a mummy. I did the chicken cross the road to find my discovery. <laughs> yep, you're right to call this in. The guy is a wacko. <laughs> no, no, uh, she's the wacko. <laughs> she's the one. Can't you tell? <laughs> he must have caught the laughing curse. I tried to warn him. Day. Remember, food lovers, souffles are fragile little things. They need a calm, quiet environment, or they could collapse. <laughs> what? Pepper! I know. I'll throw a bagpipe appreciation day party. The likes of wets the Scottish has never seen. What, Pecker? I heard that! Your lease specifically says no parties. They're noisy, and I'm trying to bake a souffle, which requires quiet! No parties! Now, how can I have a party with a pooper like Meanie around? Sometimes, if you want to beat them, you gotta join them. Inspector Decibel, noise police. Noise police? 
We're affiliated with the CIA, the FBI, the EIEIO, and all other abbreviated government agencies. Hmm, the government! That's right, ma'am. Psh, you'll tip the woodpecker. We got a major file on this dirty bird. <laughs> I'm going to need your help to silence this noisemaker once and for all. Well, I'll do anything it takes, Inspector. I'll watch him like a hawk! Catch him in the act. Then I'll grill him like a steak! I like your spunk. Maybe when this is over, you and me. Oh, it's Inspector! <laughs> Stay in here and keep Woody on round-the-clock watch. Do not leave your post no matter what you see, ma'am. And then report everything back to me tomorrow. Is that clear? Affirmative, Inspector! <laughs> Party time! <laughs> Surveillance is a dirty job, and somebody's gotta do it. Party Central, book me your all termite band and deliver the biggest party tank you got. Party Central. Great! Did you bring the tent? Woody! What's that tent about? That treehouse you're renting me has termites. Rare musical termites. You don't understand me. You Two, three, four! Maybe you should go away for the day until the termites are taken care of. You don't understand me, you think that I'm a freak! Musical termites? Ha! <laughs> There's something fishy going on, and I'll get to the bottom of it. That woman's like a bad rash. She just keeps coming back. Whoa! Inspector, am I glad to see you. We need to get inside that tent. Good thinking. Come on. Follow this stream. Hang a left on Willow. Make a U-turn on third, turn right on first, and come right up inside that woodpecker's elevator shaft. Got it? Good. Go. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> to catch this woodpecker, Ms. Meanie. You mean... Yep, we're going in loud and we're going in proud. But, Inspector Decibel, I don't know how to parachute. There's only two rules. Do this. Don't do this. Got it? Good. I'll have you down the chimney before you can say Merry Christmas. <laughs> Appreciate. 
Appropriation Day. A day to be a loud, proud Scotsman, laddie. Oi! <laughs> What's your name again? I can't seem to find you in Who's Who. You're definitely not of the Great Northern Flicker Woodpeckers. Are you sure you're not of the Hampton Woodpeckers? One of the oldest families in the city? They eat here all the time. I don't know. I'm just a common woodpecker. Look, I brought my money. Can't I just eat something? I'm starving. Let's see. Common woodpecker. It's got to be in here somewhere. Common woodpecker. Common woodpecker. Common... Common woodpecker? Shave only doesn't serve anything or anyone common. Imagine that. A common woodpecker trying to eat a shave Ollie. Hmm. My money! <laughs> so I'm not rich enough, huh? Wow. Did you see that? I say, is that who I think it is? Oh, yes! It's Lord Crinkle! You mean the Lord Crinkle? Yeah, it's Lord Crinkle, the famous polo player. The famous rich polo player. Rich, get in. Yomping, Yiminy. It's Lord Crinkle, the famous rich polo player. <laughs> Lord Crinkle here. That's Lord Crinkle of the Oxford Crinkles. Uh, do be good and give us a menu. There's a good chap. My, you're thin for a maitre d'. Uh, Lord Crinkle, I'm over here. Huh? Did somebody say something? <laughs> uh, who said that? I did, Lord Crinkle. Huh? Over here, Lord Crinkle. Huh? Where? Where? Who is this? Now, now stay still, whoever you are. <laughs> Lord Crinkle, can I show you to a table? Uh, a table? What are you doing down there? How do you expect to run a restaurant from the floor? Please, Lord Crinkle, let me show you to a table. A table? Oh, no, 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 dear boy, I couldn't do that. I'm here to scout out the restaurant for the Duke. The Duke? Yes, the Duke. He'll be here in a minute. Good evening, uh, Mr. Duke. Is this restaurant clean? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's clean. We'll see about that. Fork? <laughs> Look at this filth. Now clean that fork. I think it's clean now, Duke. Still dirty. I've got it this time. Like this? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Her Royal Majesty, the Queen! The Queen? The Queen! <gasps> Here comes the Queen! Oh, royalty! Big money! Ooh, the Queen! <laughs> Welcome to Shave Oli, Your Majesty. Oh, you may kiss my hand. <laughs> now you may kiss the royal foot. <laughs> Ah! You, sir, should be great. 
grateful that you are one of the select few who has kissed the royal foot. Um, have you food? Mr. Walrus. Appetizer? That was an appetizer? Uh, yes. I'll be ready for my dinner after I pay you the proper respects. Mr. Walrus, you may kneel. Kneel? You mean... <clears throat> knighthood? Your Majesty. I dub thee Sir Sweat of Walrus. I'm ready for my second course now. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, you woodpecker! <laughs> I dub you the freeloader. <laughs> I dub you Sir Moot. <laughs> I dub you Sir Lo. I dub you Sir Slacker! <laughs> and now, as the bread rises, a show so big, it starts on channel one and ends on channel 22. Right after a word from our sponsor. Are you cold? Hungry? Do you long to be someplace warm and tropical? Then you need a Mexican cruise! <gasps> Tickets start at only $4,000! Welcome, passenger. Can I have your ticket stub? Then get! I have never had a stowaway sneak past me. And I ain't about to start now. Nachos, check. Saudi pop, check. Sardines. Check, mate. Game over. Captain, I am inspecting in eagle-eye fashion any luggage that looks suspicious-like. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. And some you just don't want to open. <laughs> Some itches they just don't have a cream for. I am being demoted to deckhand. 
But, Captain, sir... Mm. Now listen here. You may have fooled the captain, you little ice monkey, but I am the sharpest hook in this here tackle box, and... <laughs> ah! And that critter has got to go. Yeah! <laughs> Got you. Demoted to pool boy. But, Captain, sir... Pass with caution. This vehicle makes wide turns. I'm gonna get that little penguin off this here cruise if it's the most lasting thing I ever... Huh? Oh, no, you don't, you freeloading feed bag. <laughs> Be motion to waiter. Now, hold on one ice picking minute. The captain's the only one that can do that around here. Bus boy? I have never let a stowaway get away this away. I'll bag the little critter and give him a firework spectacular he'll never forget to remember. I know, I'm being demoted. To anchor. Out you go, silly little woodpecker. Oh, 
Okay, enough with the funny. I need to have my sleep. Poor little woodpecker. He has fallen from his nest. Nighty night, woodpecker. <laughs> Looks like we're both up, huh? Oh well, I might as well have a late night snack. Hmm. Oh, let's see. There's cheese, and ham, and pickles, and tomatoes, and a little bit of onion. Oh, joy. I just can't wait to sink my tusks into this sandwich. <gasps> oh, what? Where's the... But... Hmm. I don't even remember eating all that stuff. Ooh. I better get some sleep. My mind is going all kerplunky. <laughs> Ah, the boy, come and get it. Who is yingling my bell? Night mail man. I don't know of any night mail. Special delivery. Jumping Jupiter, just what I need. Like a boat, more than a fjord. <laughs> no more sleepless nights for me, Woodpecker. <sighs> I don't like any of this hardwood web. <laughs> Hello, police. There's some weirdo digging up my lawn. No, I don't know who it is. Just come and get them out of here. Hmm. Hmm. What is going on here? Aha! Woodpecker. <laughs> so you're the weirdo trench digger. All right, buddy, let's go downtown. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Uh, at least it's nice and quiet here. I can be getting the rest I need. By me? <laughs> Seas. 
see the world. Free grub? Oh boy, that's for me. Mm -hmm. So, where's all the grub? Waits for me. You got the wrong sailor. <laughs> Ooh, a costume sea party. Cha-cha-cha. Now that's something I could get into. Roll call! The food line. Okey? Yeah. Corky? Hello. Thompson? Thompson. <laughs> Thompson. Oh, Thompson. Thompson! <laughs> Someone, Captain Redwood, calls your name Thompson? Hold on, I'm not Thompson. What do you mean you're not Thompson? Picked you up at the dock like you wanted. Ah, oh, this is getting boring. I'm here for the free food. If you're not Thompson, what be your name then? Arr. It be Woody. Arr, me hearty. That's a fine sailing name. Uh, but where's your sea leg? S sea leg? I sea leg. Every real pirate's got a sea leg. Don't we, mateys? I can't. I've got a sea leg. I've got two good ones above left, unfortunately. He's not a pirate, Captain. <coughs> no, sir. He's one of those, um, land creatures. Hey, I'm no landlubber. Captain, he took your sword. Get my sword! Give my back his sword! He be the infamous pirate, Woody Muckpacker, Scourge of the Seven Seas. Arr. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Boys? We got us a stowaway, and you know what that means. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Actually, no. No, no not as such, no. What happens when you do something wrong? <laughs> we get punished? Exactly! So we should... Um, punish him! Punish him! Hmm, can't do that. I don't know how to do that. Oh, boy! Let's tar and feather him! But I've already got feathers. Oh, no. ah, and we don't have no tar. Take him to the rack! Yay! Tie him to the rack! Oh, shoot, guys. I'm too short to tie to the rack. I'll just go home now. Not so fast there, lad lover. Hmm. I mean, arr. The plank! We'll have him walk the plank! The plank! The plank! The plank! All righty. Now walk. Some vacation this is. And no food. to you guys. How? Well, I'm a woodpecker. A woodpecker? What's a woodpecker? I don't know. No, oh, we don't need no stick and woodpecker! Oh, oh. Look! Ooh, pretty. Uh, can you do a skull and crossbones? Ah, ah, there ain't nothing like a pint of ale. Oh, uh, that's uh, ginger ale, kiddies. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Captain? Well, um, have we raided other ships? Yeah. Um, plundered? Oh, yes. Have we sang that Yo-Ho-Ho -ho song? I believe so, sir. Oh, then I guess there's nothing left. We've done all a pirate could do. No more adventure. What about a mutiny? Oh, 
What's that? A mutiny is like a big party, and you get to take over the ship. Oh, boy. How about we have a mutiny party? Why you? You'll pay for this! All right, swabbies! I'm Captain now, and I say we head for sure! Oh boy, free grab, smorgasbord. That's for me. No, Ollie, don't! It's all a cruel trick! The pirates! And the ships! With the rack! And the plank! Tar and feathered! I finally. They were ghosts, man! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Ghost pirates! <laughs> Crazy woodpecker. <laughs> no! Wait! Oh no, not again. Oh boy, business stinks. <sighs> Winnie's salon is killing my wig shop, Con. I gotta get me some of her customers. Oh, a day of beauty. Hairdresser wanted. Hmm, I know just the guy. <laughs> I'm Leroy, and I'm your man for the job. Well, I sure could use the help. I'm swamped. How about me and Peachy going first? Is there any way you could squeeze me in first? No, me! Please, Winnie! You're hired. You just let me know if you need anything, and I'll check on you later. The only thing I need is some of your customers. I'll give him a shampoo that'll make him wig out for sure. <laughs> Follow me, ladies. We'll get you washed first. My hair must be handled with great care. I want Peachy's hair the same as mine. I need a shampoo and a leg wax. <laughs> and your little dog, too. <laughs> oh, I cracked me up. Oh, this is rich. <laughs> like I'm gonna be. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's just uh, fine. Uh, you just relax now. May I look in the mirror? Can I have a look, too? Ah! 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 
experience in the hair business. Come with me, ladies. I know just how to help you. My uh, brother uh, can fix you gleaming gals up as good as new. What happened? Now I've lost all my best customers. Girl, you look marvelous. Wait a minute. I got it. It matches your red lips. Oh, does it? I've got just the one for you. Madam, that's totally you. This con is waking great. Shiny scalps equals mom's moolah. <laughs> now to steal some more of Winnie's customers. I just don't understand how this happened. I didn't do anything differently today. Yoo-hoo! Oh, Winnie! Huh. She must have left. All oh, the better for me. So that's what it was. He's no hairdresser. He's a hair undresser. If you want to make it in the hair business, you got to know how to cut it. This buzzard's going to get what's coming to him. Ladies, wait. I can explain your hair. It wasn't my fault. It was that phony buzzard, Leroy. Come on, I'll prove it. There's the culprit. Caught in the act. All this in the name of dirty wig money. <laughs> oh, ladies, please. Give me some air. I feel faint. You don't believe that nasty woodpecker over moi? Prove it. Go on, pretty boy. Shut up. Great. Yeah, Peachy and I finally match. Look how silky and smooth my legs are now, thanks to your shampoo. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Mother Nature. Ah, uh, I'm not here. Oh, yes, you are. You can't fool Mother Nature. <laughs> Mr. Woodpecker, our report shows you are 550,000 pecks behind even the laziest woodpecker. You are being demoted to a pigeon. But I'm a woodpecker. Not anymore. Now you're a pigeon. <laughs> No! I am a woodpecker! You can't do this to me! Please, Mother Nature. I gotta be promoted back to woodpecker! Do a good job as a pigeon, and you will be eligible for a review in no time. All right, let's get this show on the road. Where are the drinks and sandwiches? Uh, uh Mother Nature told me to expect you, uh, sit down! We pigeons have been having a problem regarding our, uh, uh, coverage. As you can see, statues are down by 23%. Our coverage on cars has maintained a, a, a constant increase, uh, but, but there is always room for improvement. Now let's get going! <laughs> Ah! 
Oh, I see. First day and you're already uh, slacking, huh, smart guy? Now you shake your tail feathers or I'll see you never get a promotion back to uh, Woodpecker. Now get busy on those statues. I knew you were a sucker from the word wood. How do you expect to cover your area now? All done, sir. That's impossible. Coverage complete, sir. Hey, but you ain't uh, how did you... Oh, that has got to be a pigeon record. Hey, you're up to something, and when I find out what it is, I will see you demoted to Dodo Bird. Okay, pigeons. Starting today, the company is bringing back an old pigeon standby. We're mounting a carrier pigeon squadron once more. Hey, but this time, no more little messages tied to the leg. This is the era of pigeon delivery. Well, guess I better get going. Can't talk now. There's work to be done and no time for fun. To New York, to Detroit, to Cleveland, to Seattle, Bora Bora, Bora Bora. Oh, Bora Bora! Well, I finished my deliveries. Might as well enjoy some of that off time at the beach. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. We'll have this business licked in no time. Where is that good-for-nothing woodpecker? I have you now. You. Uh, busted now, mister. What is this? Well, sir, I did forget to deliver one package. It was returned to sender. Oh, you Nimrod! This was just across town. Follow me, and I'll show you how a real pigeon delivers. It sure is heavy. <sighs> so long, Mac. Beauty. You're up to something, Woodpecker. And mark my words, I will bust you if it's the last thing I ever do as a pigeon. Apparently, we have some competition from these guys. You are swallows. They're moving in on our crumb-gathering territory. Let's show these swallows what it means to be a pigeon. Step right up, step right up. Free one-way tickets to San Juan Capistrano. Step right up. Free tickets for any bona fide swallows. Move along, move along. No shoving. There's enough seats for everyone. Yeah, why don't we do it? Let's do it now. What's your trick, Woody? Oh, just a crummy little idea. Get it? Crummy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, Woody, you've excelled in every job you were given. I see no reason why I shouldn't promote you back to Woodpecker. Oh, Joy. Oh, boy. I love my beak. I can't wait to start pecking again. I knew he'd turn out fine. Mother Nature. Mother Nature, I've got it. I've got photos. Woody's been scamming us the whole time. Oh, well, I, well but, but I've already promoted him. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, you've got to do something. Yeah, I know. Turn him into a newt, a stink bug. How about an amoeba? No, I've got a better idea. <sighs> this is the life. It's good to be a woodpecker again. Mother Nature. Why, what a pleasant surprise. I, uh, I was just about to get to work. I've got a lot of trees to peck. Just a second. Listen, Woody, you did so well in the pigeon training squad that I've decided to promote you again. Woo! Another promotion. To what? Hawk. Eagle, you're bringing back the pterodactyl. <laughs> Congratulations. You are now in charge of training all woodpeckers. And here's your first student now. Hey, Woodpecker, I'm here for six months of training, and I want to get every second of it on tape. Mother Nature, wait a second! Wait, wait, wait! 